Alright, this video is for Chem 2045. We're working from exam number 3 from fall 2009, and we're going to work on problem uh, number 13. This problem says that magnesium metal, uh, 0.1 moles of it, and a volume of hydrochloric acid, um, which has 0.5 moles, is combined and reacted, and they give us a um, chemical equation to show the reaction and they want us to find out how many liters of hydrogen are produced at standard temperature and pressure. So the first thing we'll do is write down what they give us in the problem, which um, would be our chemical equation. Magnesium plus hydrochloric acid, which goes to produce magnesium chloride, plus the hydrogen gas. So the problem asks us to find the volume of hydrogen gas produced at standard temperature and pressure. Now you should know that standard temperature and pressure is zero degrees Celsius and one atmosphere. This is just something that um, you'll need to know as a chemist. We know that we have a reaction, and they give us um, the initial amount of each of the reactants. So I'll put these in it right here. 0 0.1 mole and 0 0.5 mole. So we can make an ICE chart. Here's the initial, the change, and the amount at equilibrium. Um, So to continue this problem, we need to figure out what the limiting reagent is because one of these is probably going to be used up before um, the other one is. So to do that, we need to figure out how much each of these is going to produce of um, our products. So we'll start with magnesium here. Um, because both of these produce one equivalent of our product, it doesn't matter which um, product species we use because they produce the same amount. Now this had a 2 in front of it, I would choose my um, hydrogen because it's going to produce less. So going to magnesium, we have 0 0.1 moles of magnesium and that's converted to 1 uh, mole equivalent of magnesium chloride. Uh, for every one mole of magnesium that's used. So canceling like terms, we are left with 0 0.1 moles of magnesium chloride. Now looking at the hydrogen chloride, we use 0 0.5 moles. If we use all of that, we get one mole of magnesium chloride for every mole. Oh, there's a two missing. I'm sorry, that's supposed to be 2HCl. So, two moles of HCl used. So, canceling like terms. Oops. Sweet HCl. Canceling like terms. We have um, 0 0.25 moles of magnesium chloride produced. So from looking at these two, we see that we produce less of the magnesium chloride. That means magnesium is our li limiting reagent. So now, now that we know this, um, we see that magnesium is going to be used up at the end, so there's going to be zero left. We use... Um, an X amount of magnesium, two equivalent amounts of hydrogen chloride, um, and this produces one equivalent amount of magnesium chloride and one equivalent amount of the hydrogen gas. So now I'm going to erase this. Now we can figure out what the X equivalent is because we have um, all three of these numbers for magnesium. So we know that 0 equals 0 0.1 moles 
minus x. Pulling x over here to the side, we have um, x equals 0 0.1 moles. So plugging that in for each x here, um, we have 0.5 minus 0.2 moles. So this is going to be 0 0.3 moles of HCl in the end. Um, this is going to be 0 0.1 moles of magnesium chloride and 1.1 mole of our hydrogen. Now um, we can figure out how our volume of hydrogen gas at standard temperature and pressure because we have this number of moles and we have um, our equation for an ideal gas which is PV equals and RT, we can find um, the volume right here because we have pressure, um, number of moles, and temperature from STP and 0.1 moles. So uh, pulling volume to one side, we have NRT over pressure. And plugging in our numbers, we have 0 0.1 moles times 0. Point, whoops, 0 0.0821 liters times atmospheres over Kelvin times mole. And then times pressure, which is 0 degrees Celsius. But I can't plug in zero degrees Celsius here. This needs to be, this needs to be in Kelvin. That's going to be 273.15 Kelvin. All of this divided by pressure, which is one atmosphere. Now we should cancel like to, uh, our units so we know that we ha we did our uh, math correctly. Um, atmospheres cancel. Uh, moles cancel, Kelvin cancel, and we're left with liters, and volume is in liters, so we have that correct. Um, plugging all this in, we end up with 2.24 liters of hydrogen gas at STP. And this is Answer choice A. So the thing you should pull away from this is how to use an ICE chart and um, know what standard temperature and pressure is.